Hi, my name is Jim and this is Gardening Through the Seasons Inside and Outdoors. For the past few years, I've enjoyed immensely growing football mums or Japanese mums. In the fall, making bouquets with them is so wonderful. And so I'd like to show with you some tips, share with you some tips. So we're gonna do the first step and that is starting new fresh cuttings. Now, these plants are actually difficult to find. You can find lots of chrysanthemums in the store with little tiny flowers. But what you need to do is keep your eye out in nurseries or grocery stores or florists for chrysanthemums that have large flowers, really big flowers. And then what you can do is bring them home, enjoy the flowers, keep the plants watered until the flowers fade. Then whack them back and grow them in a cool, bright area. Give them a little fertilizer, water and things to get them to grow some more. And in the spring, what you're going to do is you're going to start a cutting just take a piece off, I don't know, two, three, well, maybe three or four inches long. You can take the lower leaves off. This one's a little wilted because it broke, so to say, but these are too precious to waste, so we're gonna try this one. I like to put them in bleach water and let them rest in there, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so, and maybe about a teaspoon of bleach to a pint of water. And what that does is it just helps kill some of the fungus and bacteria that might give you trouble while you are trying to propagate it. You're going to need to rinse that bleach off though so it doesn't hurt the plant. Once you've rinsed the bleach off, go ahead and put the cut end into some rooting hormone. And then take a peat pot, it's my favorite, or some peat moss and mix some houseplant strength fertilizer in, in it and then squeeze out the excess because it will rot if you just leave it soaking wet. Okay, and then I like to um, push it down firm, get it really firm and put it into a container with a lid like this. I don't spray the leaves with water. They are kind of wet, yes I know. Um, but I spray the inside a little bit just to raise the, the humidity and don't forget to label them, especially if you do different colors. So in a few weeks, about two weeks, two, three weeks, something like that, you'll see white roots starting to push out. And at that time, you can transfer these to a gallon nursery container. And I'm actually going to be doing updates all along until blooming time. So you can see how these turn out and also to give you advice and help along the way. If you do have questions, let me know what your questions are. I'm happy to help. And like my video and please subscribe. See you next time.